So my real name is Melinda, um, which is not a very exciting name. So uh, when I play, I'm Mean Streak. Um, my position on the team is uh, generally blocker. Um, that's the position uh, mostly involved. It's defense and offense, but it's mostly involved in hitting people because that's what I like to do. Um, I'll jam every once in a while, but it's not my favorite position. Um, but everyone, everybody on the team has to be a little bit versatile because, you know, you never know what kind of group you're going to have out there if someone has penalties or someone's in the box. So you sort of have to be a jack of all trades out on the track. Um, and the same thing goes with the, with the league itself. So on the league, I serve on the advisory board. I serve on the, on the finance committee, the communications committee. Um, I head the merch department, and I also do some of the graphic design work. And that's the same for everybody in the league. Um, we function as a business, and we have to take whatever talents we have from the people in the league, and we have to fill every position that a business would have, um, especially a nonprofit business. Um, you know, none of us get paid. Uh, we all work uh, volunteer on a volunteer basis because we love it so much. This, the league is named uh, Rockin' City Roller Girls, and that's also our team name. So um, we chose the name because uh, Rockin' City ties in with Round Rock. We're a Round Rock team. Um, the community that we aim to support is the Round Rock community. So um, we want to be representative of Round Rock. We, we have some rivalries with um, other local Texas teams, um, but they're all friendly rivalries. So um, we always make an effort to be really friendly and um, personable and have fun doing it because at the end of the day, we're not getting paid. We do this because we love it. And it wouldn't be as much fun if there was any negativity there. So we try to keep it sportsmanlike. Well, roller derby um, as a sport has been around, I want to say since maybe the 20s. Um, it's, it's, been a long, it's been around for a very long time. You know, so roller, roller derby had, you know, that era. And then in you know the 70s, 80s, and um, up up to the 90s, there was a, you know there was roller derby that was played on the bank track uh, mostly by women, and that's when you started to get the the personas. It was almost like professional wrestling. Um, that has changed dramatically too. You know roller derby now is more about athleticism, and um, I mean they're trying to get it to be an Olympic sport. Um, they're petis petitioning to get it into the Olympics. So um, you know it's not that far fetched. But, um, so roller derby is still a full contact game. Um, as you can see, we have to wear quite a bit of safety gear to protect ourselves. Um, you know, there, there are things that happen like broken bones and sprains and things like that. Um, but, you know, it's the same with any contact sport. And roller derby is one of the few contact sports that, that women can play. Um, we have all sorts of you know walks of life represented um you know we have military we have uh, nurses we have um you know we've got housewives we've got mothers we've got you know daycare operators we've got everything um pretty much any possession uh, any profession you can think of and we'll have somebody who does that or is close to that which is a part of why um, you know this sort of grassroots roller derby is so important is because it helps everyone on this team build a huge network of people that we wouldn't have otherwise. Um, we're going to be helping out with um, a cancer society uh, fundraiser the night before our home bout. Um, you know we do things locally within the community like the bicentennial celebration. Um, you know we try to show up and be active. The Fourth of July parade. You know we're already talking about starting a youth league. Um, you know also offering uh, skating classes, um, things like that. But really the goal is to promote um, health, fitness, you know self confidence for women. Um, you know creating a safe network for women. Um, you know, and men. Obviously, we have uh, we have male referees and male volunteers as well. So um, it's it's very inclusive. Um, well, the great part about roller derby is that even if you're not interested in playing the sport and getting hit and doing the full contact, there's still a place for you. We always um, not just need volunteers, but we include volunteers as a part of our league. Our we have a head non-skating official. She's never played a game with us. She doesn't play roller derby, but she's here every single practice to, you know, time our time our jams during scrimmages, and you know, help us take attendance and do some of the administrative purposes. We have three referees who come to practice. They don't play, 
um, but they're here and they give us their time and um, you know they're a part of our league you know they get all the benefits of a league member because they're included so our, our volunteers are very important to us so if somebody is interested in joining us the first thing that they can do is they can go to our website and they can find our, our email address rockincityrollergirls at gmail.com um, email us and what will happen is the training the training team will get with you they'll you know find out what your skill level is and then invite you to come to a practice you come and you observe um, you see if it's for you see if it interests you and if it does you know you pick up your gear and uh, you can start coming and skating um, the only requirements for startup are you know we do have league dues because that's how we pay for our space and um, you know, there's the cost of gear and then we also all are required to carry roller sport insurance we do not mess around with our health we're able to train all levels of skaters we have skaters that come in and have never skated before in their lives and we can we can work with that um, all you really need is um, you, know, you need to be competitive and you need to be kind of driven um, but that's but we can work on the skills the skills will not keep you from doing this if this is what you want to do. So we have some skaters who come on and for the first couple of weeks they just skate around they just skate around the ring because that's all they can do and we, we're okay with that. Um, we will work with any skill level and even if you never become an amazing roller derby player, it's fine. Come and have fun and you know stay with our fresh meat as long as it takes to get to the level that you want to be. I would just really like them to know that you know even if you don't join roller derby Think about joining some kind of community activity, um, whether it's a team sport or a group or something like that, because it is absolutely life changing. So you have people around you who share your interests, um, you know, who share your passion for something. Um, it's a very supportive environment, and um, it, as I said, it, it really is life changing. Roller derby absolutely changed my life. So I want to invite everybody to come to our home bout. It's our second home bout. It's called our homecoming brawl. So it's going to be homecoming themed. Um, and we're going to be uh, playing right here at Austin Sports Arena. So the doors open at 1130. First whistles at 1230. Kids 12 and under are free. So please come on out. You can buy tickets online on our website and they're a little bit cheaper or you can get them for $15 at the door.